Hi, I'm Carl Olaf Jansen. I'd like you to know a little bit about my life. I was born on 17th of May 1890 in Korsberga, Skareborg, Sweden. I was the son of Lars Alfred Jansen, and Charlotta Christina Sven's daughter. I had six siblings, Sven Bernhardt, Eric Valdemar, Alfred Vitalis, Hannah Elisabeth, Rebecca Alfreda, and Sven Oshin. I was a socialist and was active in Sweden's labor movement. I worked as a carpenter for the Ericsson Brothers Workshop in Örebro, Sweden. My brother Eric had emigrated to the USA in the early 1900s, and I decided to join him there in Swedenborg, Nebraska. I bought tickets and legal papers in Copenhagen and was accompanied by fellow socialist August Wennerström and Gunnar Tenglund. We traveled along with other Swedes to England on a cattle boat, which was not very comfortable, as the sea was quite rough. We remained together on the Titanic, which we boarded in Southampton. We traveled third class on ticket number 350,034 which had cost 7 pounds, 15 shillings and 11 pence. The Titanic was a wonderful ship, plenty of space in third class for us all to enjoy, and the food which was plentiful. On the night of the sinking I was awoken by the collision, and hurried up to deck and was in such hurry that I had forgotten to put on any shoes. Up on deck I saw nothing at first I thought I would see the iceberg, as somebody told me about it, but it was too late. I then decided to return to my cabin to dress more appropriately and gather some personal possessions. I found my forward situated cabin was among those that was beginning to take in water. I remained on board, staying with August Wennerström until the ship's final throws before jumping and swimming to waterlogged collapsible A. I had no life belt but was a strong swimmer, I was later hauled into lifeboat 14 along with others from collapsible A, I was suffering from frostbitten feet. In New York, I was brought to the Salvation Army's cadet school and was given $25 from the Salvation Army Assistance Committee. I was photographed alongside several other surviving Swedish men, including August Wennerström, Gunnar Tenglund, Johan Asplund, and Einar Carlsson. I took time while aboard Carpathia to write to my family back in Sweden, detailing the experiences of which I had come through. I initially settled in Swedenborg with my brother and continued to work as carpenter and building contractor. I never returned to Sweden and remained living in America, settling in Wahoo, Saunders County. During the First World War, I was enlisted in the US Army and sent back across the Atlantic to the battlefields. I was married on May 3, 1923 to Amanda Josefina Edith Simon's daughter, a fellow Swedish immigrant, originally from Holcho, Jönköping. I was reluctant in later years to speak about my experiences. I was known to have given several newspaper interviews and had given several lectures to school groups. I became known in my local community as Titanic Carl. This has been my story, it has been a pleasure to speak to you today.